everyone in this video i will show you how to create an email pop-up for your shopify store so before we start i will just leave the link to this blog post where we detailly explain what email pop-ups are and there are some great examples as well so you can just check it out if you want to so first things first we need an app uh, i'm gonna use pop-up smart shopify app for this okay let's click and install you can install it for free there's a forever free plan so you will have forever if you want to experience it before you actually purchase it okay let's click install up again um then if you want you can just continue with your existing uh pop -up smart account if you don't have one you can just create a new pop -up smart account pop -up smart will use your information uh, on your shopify store to create the account without you manually entering your information so it's going to be super straightforward so we successfully connected our Shopify store to the Pop -up Smart account. As you can see, this is a free plan as well. So now I'll just click new campaign and let's name our campaign and then choose the correct domain. In this case, it's going to be the Shopify domain and save it. Okay, so here we have the playbook. This is where you can see all the pop-up templates. There are some different types like a flight pop-up, full screen or floating bar. There are some filters like animated or multi-step ones. On the left-hand panel, you can see goals and different industries and seasonal pop-ups as well. Okay, from the goals, I will choose... Um, Okay, click on grow email list and there are some very stylish pop-up designs. You can choose one that goes well with your brand design as well. Or you can just choose one and tweak it to your liking. One of the best parts is that you can just preview the uh, template before you actually choose it. And then on the right hand panel, you will see the team part. This is our team engine. You can just click on different uh, designs and see if you like them better. It's like, yeah, you have one template, but it has many different uh, variations. And then if you like one of the designs better, just click apply team and then select pop up. Okay, we're on the customize step. This is where you can add new elements to your pop up. We have elements like image, button, coupon code, countdown timer or videos, or we have form elements, which is right here. Actually, we have the email here and if you want you can ask for the phone number full name or whatever you need when you click on the email uh, form field right here you will see notifications if you want you can activate self email notification and uh, you need to verify your mail address first uh, this helps you get notifications when someone just uh, enters their email address here and we also have the autoresponder email here if you want to uh, just send emails to the ones to the visitors who enter their email addresses like if it's a um, newsletter uh, pop-up uh, telling visitors to enter their email addresses to be up to date uh, you can just send this email for example you can say welcome we are thrilled to see you here we have the integrations here as well if you are using other uh, email platforms maybe you can just uh, integrate it with your pop-up one of the good strategies when asking for an email is um, offering an incentive like uh, discount codes that's why i will add coupon codes form element here you can just drag and drop uh, to change its placement on your pop-up or considering that this is a multi-step pop-up we can just add the code in the second step so I will just leave this as it is and go to success pop-up and add my discount code here. And when you click on the coupon code element, you can see the type, which is fixed and unique. Uh, if you choose unique, it's going to be different discount code for each visitor. And if you choose fixed, they are all going to uh, get the same discount code. Let's continue with style. This is where you can again see the team engine. If you want to see other teams, you can just check them out. We can arrange the pop-up size, the position on the website, and then we had pop-up body style, 
Uh, if you want to change the background color of your pop-up, you can add an image to your pop-up as the background. We already have an image here and you can add lots of animation as well. We have the website overlay. You can activate it if you want to make your pop-up more eye-catching. Then we have the shape. If you want, you can just round the corners a little bit. We have the animations. This is how your pop-up comes into the screen. There are different fonts. You can add more by clicking more fonts. You'll see the fonts library here. And then we have the form style. As you remember, email uh, field is our form field. And you can arrange its uh, shape if you want to. Again, we have the button. And then we have the close button style. You can even just customize it. Lastly, we have the coupon code. Let's go to the second step. You can see it can be solid or no stroke or just again the shape and the color. We have that one style as well if you want to use custom CSS to further um, customize your pop-up, but basic style is just more than enough in most cases. Before we continue with segment, let's see how our pop-up looks on mobile. This is our success pop-up and this is the main pop-up. Okay, segment is where you can decide who you want to show your pop-up to. We are targeting desktop and mobile users, new and returning users. Then you can arrange a time and date for your pop-up to be displayed. We have different uh, targeting options here. And we have the Shopify audience targeting. This is uh, special to Shopify. With Shopify audience targeting, you can just choose to show your pop-up to cart total is equal to and a value, let's say $100. So people with a $100 cart total will see your pop-up only. This is a pretty cool feature. You can just try it out for yourself. Then we have add user behavior targeting. Uh, I want the pop-up to be displayed when people scroll 20% of the website. So I just want them to show some kind of in interest in the website first. Then we have the inactivity mode and I want it to be displayed if someone is inactive on the website for 10 seconds. Then we have frequency settings. I want my pop-up to be shown on every page view, but if someone submits an email or clicks a button, I don't want it to be displayed anymore. So I'm happy with the segment, so I will just save it. Let's continue with publish. This is where you can see your targeting summary and you can see the autoresponder email again and last integrations and analytics if you want to activate it as well. Once you're happy, click publish. Okay, when you click publish, it asks you to verify your pop-up smart app. For this, you'll go to team settings in Shopify and you will see pop -up smart right here. Just activate and save it. Okay, let's go back and click refresh. Okay, it's activated. Okay, it's activated and we have successfully published our pop-up campaign. Let's see it on live preview. So here is our website and here is our email pop-up. I'm just trying it out and here is our discount code. So you can just try Pop-Up Smart for free. As I said, you can find it on uh, Shopify's app store. Go ahead, try it out and let us know what you think.